What's up, everybody? Back with Aesop Rock, 100 feet tall. And this was a request by Damien. Thanks for the support. Thanks for the donation. I appreciate it. And I've been enjoying your requests. Uh, and this one is from the album, you know, I did the first reaction to Aesop Rock was Aggressive Steve and Pigeonometry was also on this one, right? Because I recognize the artwork. Let's check it out. Ooh. One time I met Mr. T in New York in the 80s. I was seven, eight, and sweating for a table at Carnegie with my family who did not always agree on what was wavy, but would shut up once a week because we loved our fucking A team. Ooh, ooh, A team. Oh, yeah, he said Mr. T. Oh. I love how he rhymed. Is <laughs> I was uh, in the eighties. I was seven eight ish. You know, eight. The way he said it, it made it rhyme. You know, that, that's 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 clever, man. That's that's creative. <laughs> Mister T, Mister T, Mister T. I always have to think about <laughs> what was it? Eddie Murphy and Delirious, Delirious or Raw? Mister T is looking for you. <laughs> Yeah, and the A team, man, what is it that? In 1972, a commando unit was sent to prison for a, you know, by a court or by a crime they did for a crime they didn't commit. Something like that. Sounded much cooler when I was a kid. <laughs> Let's go back. Let's go back. One time I met Mr. T in New York in the 80s. I was seven, eight and sweating for a table at Carnegie with my family who did not always agree on what was wavy, but would shut up once a week because we loved our fucking A team. Pop see him sitting there, beard a man, dink a hair, whispered so that we could hear. Guys, Mr. T is here. Mr. T is fucking real? I mean, I know he's real, it's just we only see him on TV. He's like a superhero to us. We yeah, man, you know, just meet people in the wild you know in belgium of course you don't really come across that you know at least not on the on the level of of mr t or, or people that are famous around the world you know in america you you, you have a many uh, a lot more opportunities let us say than here uh you know and if you're a fan if you're a fan of mr t and suddenly you see him you know that's awesome i mean i know it's real it's just we only see them on tv oh the rhyming you know baracus process uh bias you know it, it if you pronounce it just you know as you would when you're talking it doesn't really rhyme but he makes it rhyme with the cadence and the enunciation and the stressing of certain syllables uh you know and that's fire man because he's just in storytelling mode now and that is you know that is his 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 his, his skill you know he's the, he's the best at that man and one of the best at least as, as far as i uh have heard in in hip-hop uh, not that i'm that well versed i listen to a lot of hip-hop since i was a kid but you know you keep you, sometimes you get stuck with the same artist for a while. You know how it happens. Instead of branching out. Probably have a lunch with friends. I think they're about to pay and leave. I've never seen a famous person, let alone Baracus. He got the work right by us. That's more than I can process. process. I felt a mighty presence center in my elbow room. Looked up and seen a brain seat. It's own yellow moon. I've seen enough gold to break the average neck in two. Feather hanging from the ear. Gear that said don't mess with you. Oof. No no suckers. Be good to your mother. No dummies, no punks. Mm. I pity every last one. One, one, one. I pity the fool. That's a reference to, uh, yeah, to what uh, to what Mr. T uh, said. You know, I pity the fool. Ooh, you get him. Mr. T's a hundred feet tall. Arms like. <laughs> you hear the ad lib? 
Oh, he's not that, you know, I'm not tall either, man, you know, but, uh, you know, on TV, people, you know, they seem tall and Mr. T has that presence, right? And and if you're a kid, you know, he's talking about he was seven or eight. Of course, he seems tall. He seems 100 feet tall. And in the ad lib, he's 5'10". <laughs> and we got a beat switch here too. One, one, one. Ooh. Mr. T's a hundred feet tall. Arms like trucks probably punched through a wall. My father said his name and sort of nodded to acknowledge him. Which wouldn't turn to firm that this was not some type of hologram. Big warm smile ear in a earring. From a television tuffy to a deer in his ear. Start rubbing his belly. Then equip for the pups. It took a place like this to fill Mr. T up. Get it? For those of you who don't know the establishment, they're famous in Manhattan for serving gigantic sandwiches. Yo, the pocket he's in, man. This is fine. He's, he's like zigzagging through the instrumental. Like, whoa, whoa. You know, that's, you know, you know, people some they only rap on snares or whatever, you know, but, you know, certain creative rappers, you know, they find a certain flow patterns in the melody uh, you know, they have a different ear and it's like do 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 going through that instrumental, man. That's fire. You know, the establishment they're famous in Manhattan for serving gigantic sandwiches. We share the last <laughs> Oh, he's in a deli. That's what he meant in the beginning. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Like 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 Katz's or something in New York, but he said another Car Carne Carnegie? Carnegie. How do you get to Carnegie Hall? Yeah, I've been to New York once. Famous in Manhattan for serving gigantic sandwiches. Mm. We shared a laugh about the portions, a humanizing peek behind the on screen performances. He kept the brief set as peace, and with that, disappeared in the cloud, mystique obscenely intact. He played it perfect to a nervous kid. He met at his peak. We spent the meal like holy Moses, we just met Mr. T. Hey, is this based on a true story? Did that actually, ha did that actually happen when he was a kid? You know, he kept a mystique, you know, they always say never meet your heroes, right? But if it, if it works out and they live up to your, uh, to your expectations, Hey, come on, that makes your day. If they're, if they're a dick, yeah, then, then you, then it's screwed. <laughs> Kitty man at his peak. We spent the meal like holy Moses. We just met Mr. T. Ha <laughs> fuck. No fools, no suckers. Forty years have passed, my hair is gray, my belly's fat. Still, when I hear his voice, I'm seven eight ish back on Seventh Ave. Now with <laughs> on Seventh Ave, yeah, man. And that actually goes back to what I was saying in uh, what was it, a Big Bang or in the Sick Friend video that I said, and somebody commented on. Actually, that's why it's sticking in my mind. Like when you revisit songs, or or shows, or or movies. After you lived a little bit of life, suddenly it clicks. Uh, suddenly you get a different perspective. Maybe you became a father or a mother, a parent. Maybe you lost somebody. May, you know, whatever it may be. Maybe you became addicted yourself. And then suddenly certain scenes in a movie or certain songs just like, wow, you know, are prophetic or it clicks or it, you have a totally different experience with it. You know, uh, maybe you thought, as a kid, the bad guy was cool, and maybe when you're older, you do, you're, you're not, or, or vice versa, whatever, man, whatever it may be. And that's awesome. That's awesome, man. He's talking about this stuff. He's now 40 years old thinking about um, about that thing. One, one. Close to 40 years have passed. My hair is gray, my belly's fat. Still, when I hear his voice, I'm 7, 8-ish back on 7th Ave. Now with the perspective that I never had Respect for who he's been and is And questions I won't get to ask About this one Chicago boy The youngest of a dozen Who was drawn to throwing suckers out the club For bringing drugs in Then scouted by Stallone Who sings the Rocky Party Bodies it Or let him Oh, whoa I think I missed something there about this one Chicago boy, the youngest of a dozen, who was drawn to throwing suckers out the club for bringing drugs in. Then scouted by Stallone, who sings the Rocky Party, bodies it. On Letterman, he says he's primarily still a 
Did he say Stallone? And now he's on Letterman. Does Mr. T and Stallone have something together? I don't know. Maybe an Iraqi movie. Is he an Iraqi movie? <laughs> he is, right? Damn, I don't know. Shit. My movie, my movie fan card's being revoked right now. Damn. Youngest of a dozen, it was drawn to throwing suckers out the club to bringing drugs in. Then scouted by Stallone, who sings the Rocky Party, bodies it. On Letterman, he says he's primarily still a bodyguard. Huh. Born protector, icon our community, plus network television like a rocket to the moon of cheese. Pro mm. wrestling, cartoon, comic books, records. Break to beat cancer, then he back to spread the message. Look, never talk to strangers. Uh. Stay in school, don't hang out where the yay is. Love yourself and fuck designer labels. Wow. Screw designer labels, man. Yo, Mr. T. Answer, then he back to spread the message. Look, never talk to strangers. Stay in school, don't hang out where the yay is. Love yourself and fuck designer labels. Mm -hmm. Thank him for the guidance. Thank him for the cereal. Seriously, it was righteous. No fools, no suckers. Be good to your mother. No dummies, no punks. Yeah. That was fire. It's kind of a tribute to Mr. T, right? I wonder if that ever happened, that story. But at the end there, is that actually what, what, what Mr. T also, you know, did he have cancer? I think he had health problems. Not sure. And off his other projects, did he actually say those kinds of messages and help his community? I don't know. I don't know too much about him really, except for his, uh, you know, A-team work. Uh so yeah, man, that's a fire song, man. <laughs> Yo, he keeps coming up with topics that, like I said in the other video, that usually are not really rapped about. And I love that, man. That 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 tells me there's there's still so much ground to be covered in, in hip hop. Um and uh because this is more recent, right? And I guess, you know, if you've been at it for 20 years or something. There's so, you know, there's so many topics you've already rapped about. So you might as well make, you know, concept songs and make stories. And y y those are endless. Those are endless. Love it. Love it. Amazing. Thanks again for uh, recommending this. This was fire. I uh, hope you have a great day. Goodbye.